I've thought about making this vlog for like a year because a lot of people make a vlog about when they're about 40, if they're gonna have more kids or not. Um, a couple of my friends have done pregnant at 40 vlogs and I thought, well, I'm 41 in a couple of weeks, so if I'm ever gonna make it, better be now. Mm. And a lot of people are just curious about, especially with large families, if you're done having babies and, <clears throat> and all of that. And we were completely done. <laughs> like Violet was 100% our last baby, wasn't she? Yes. This video was going to go along the lines of we are happy with our three little ones together and we were done and <laughs> jokes on us. <laughs> yes, we're not done. Turns out I am pregnant mm. at 40. <laughs> you are. Um, actually, three and a half months already. That went quick, didn't it? Yeah. Like so, we've known for most of that time. We've known most of that time. We only told the kids a couple of weeks ago. Mm. Um, mainly because since it wasn't really the plan, mm. we sort of had to come to terms with it ourselves before we started mm. telling yeah. people. Yeah, definitely needed the time. You know, in previous pregnancies, it's been exciting wanting to tell the kids, you know, pretty much straight away. Yeah, but every pregnancy was yeah. planned, like everyone. Yeah. <laughs> but this one, this was all this new was territory for us. Massive yeah. surprise. Mm. Um, because we obviously we weren't trying for more. Yes. Somehow, you know, things yes. happen. We won't go too much into detail. No. But um, was, yeah, something went wrong. Something in that department happened. And uh, yeah, there we go. Yeah. But you know what? Like they say in uh, Jurassic Park, life finds a way, <laughs> doesn't it? I, I, I still can't quite get my head around it. Now that we've had some time, several months or more, to come to groups with the the pregnancy, just because it's unplanned doesn't mean it, that we're not happy about it, that we're not excited. We just needed to get over the shock and that, also it, just, that it was to us. Yeah, also to see the baby was okay, which we've seen twice now, so. Yeah, which is really, really, that's a big moment for any parent, as all of you parents out there will, will know, when you when you see um, the ultrasound, um, not just the initial one, the initial one's something, but you generally don't see very much. Mm. Um, but that second one, particularly when the when the baby's like fully formed, arms and legs and a head and a mouth and a nose and all the little you can see. And the heart and the the bladder and the kidneys and all that—it's all good. Yeah. So not only do you get to visually sort of see that—that's a human, right? Yeah. And that it's growing properly and functioning and everything is happening becomes very real because you know in just a few short months um that's going to be that human's going to be here living with you <laughs> and uh you're going to be taking care of it um for many years but i think coming to terms with that helps seeing that helps um we it's too early to know if it's a boy or a girl we're going to well we could find out but we'd have to pay privately oh yeah we, we could but we're not that um concerned about it because we don't care one way or another we don't mm -hmm. care if we have a boy we don't have a girl we just want a healthy uh baby uh, you know a lot of people but we're curious of course we're curious. curious yes curious and curious to the point where you know it's good for us uh, you know you're a planner you're a huge planner i'm a planner because that's why i said i actually said how about we don't find out this time because yeah. we've both found out for all of our babies <laughs> Yes. So if just for something now different. we've got boys, we've got a girl together. Why yep. don't we just wait and see? And we're like both like yeah okay. And then like the next day we're like we can't wait. <laughs> nah. I think we need names. We need yes. bedding and clothes and. <laughs> yeah, so much to go that goes with whether or not you know you're having a boy or it a girl. It doesn't have to, but it does for us. It does for <laughs> yeah. us, yeah, because yeah, that's just how how we uh, we are. The, everything's fine. The baby looks good, and all of the, everything's good. Um, so far, H has been very unwell in terms of mm, morning goodness. sickness. I've which never is had a... this bad morning sickness. Mm, I thought last time was bad. This is a, it was this gone is go by now. Yeah, this is going on even longer than last time. So uh, morning sickness Possibly is... Possibly my age, though, I reckon. Because what else yeah. could it be? Yeah, I mean, it's hard to know because every pregnancy is different. But yeah. um, you definitely had it really bad last time. But this mm. time, it's it's really bad and it's going longer. Yeah, it's going um, really longer. So it's making that's made things a little bit and it know, is the difficult. main reason we stopped vlogging like my sickness <clears throat> not because i was pregnant but the morning yeah. sickness i was literally in bed for weeks at between the yeah i think between like four weeks and eight weeks especially yeah you were almost bedridden and i was on medication as well and i was still i couldn't mm. get out of bed yeah. couldn't do anything about my appearance which is why in some of the vlogs straight back in this last week i'm still looking a little bit funny because it was still a couple of weeks ago but i'm slowly coming back to life with that yeah. 
I think um, you're coping better with it. Yes. And it's probably not as bad as it was. Well, I've stopped taking medication. I couldn't have done that a few weeks ago. Yeah. Um, actually, I took a couple of tablets yesterday because I was pretty bad yesterday, but they didn't really do anything. Mm. So I thought, what's the point? Mm. Apart from that um, morning sickness, every, like physically sick, right? you're, you're well, fine. I did, because we told you a bit about this, so I'll just explain it more. Mm. I did have a big <clears throat> cyst on my ovary and that was they were saying because it was really big, it was like 96 millimeters. I think it, I think MM stands for millimeters in an ultrasound. I'm assuming. Yeah, I think so. Um, they said it, it looks way too big to be a pregnancy cyst, and you'll probably need surgery for that in a few weeks. But in the last ultrasound I had last week, it had gone right down to 24 millimeters. So thankfully, it had burst and it's slowly going away, and I won't need surgery because that was the one worry medically. But otherwise, everything's just been perfect, no issues at all. Yeah, yeah. So um, that that's a big you know sort of. It, it lessens your concerns, doesn't mm. completely get rid of them at all. Like because... even my blood is good. I usually have anemia just about my iron's good, my vitamin D is mm. good. That's the first good. time ever that your iron yeah. has been I had an iron good. transfusion last pregnancy, as is you, that, you may know. Yeah. <laughs> so you don't... So from that point of view, you're actually physically in somewhat Physi better shape. Well, I must be fairly healthy if I spontaneously got pregnant at nearly 41 years old. Well, like, I've got to be pretty healthy for that. <laughs> yeah, that you were... That, yeah, you still you felt Which pregnant. Which is crazy. So, yeah. <laughs> It seemed so unlikely, and then you know, obviously, um, precautions were taken, and you know, still these things, yeah. as we said, life finds a way, and it did. At the end of the day, we've reached this point where we feel comfortable sharing it with you guys. We've shared it with the family already. We are now very comfortable with the whole um, process, and we're we're doing things to prepare for the baby already. There's, there's the the bedside cot, which we always use. Rachel's got that. Um, we're planning because we how... got rid of everything we got yeah. rid of everything because we were done that's another lesson i guess be careful <laughs> but i think we're also pretty experienced in knowing exactly what we're going to need or yeah. not and we don't we certainly don't overdo things when it comes yeah. to that anymore we don't we know the things you need for a baby are the things you need there's a lot of things you don't need that when you're first time parents for instance that you will probably get but it's fun to have those things it's fun there's to have nothing them. wrong with getting all the things no we're not no but <laughs> But we live in a in a in a in a crowded house that's got a lot of people, a lot of things in it already. We don't only we're only going to bring in what's required um, for for the new baby. We're also kind of on a not a minimalism journey, but definitely minimizing journey. So we don't want to bring in so much stuff to make our lives more hectic. We want to make yeah. it simple as yeah. possible. It shouldn't it shouldn't add to your your stresses. Basic things you need to take care of a newborn. There's not actually that many things you need. What you need is a lot of hands-on taking care of it the baby needs lots of attention which you are all you know you're so you're you're always so attentive to to the newborn baby <laughs> you do and that's great it's that's the special time when a mother in particular um you know bonds so closely with the brand new baby i mean you're going to give birth to the baby so that's a closer that's as close a bond as a person can have with another person and you know you're always super super a close little bit, early um, days like What's the word where you don't let other people hold the baby? Like, I'm a possessive. little bit possessive of the baby at the start. Yeah, and oh, look, I'm fine with that because I still get my time with the baby and I'm going to get plenty of time as the baby gets older as well. For me, I just love to see how you are as a mother to, to a newborn because it's a pretty special thing mm. and it's not something you get to see all the time. And it almost brings out the very best in your character. I still don't feel pregnant, besides from the sickness. <laughs> like, it's just still a, not a shock anymore, but it's still hard to get my head around. Mm. It'll probably be more real to you when you feel the baby moving. When I feel the movement, yeah. I think I felt, I think I felt a movement once, just a little flutter. I think. Yeah. It won't be long now, will it? Yeah, I should. I'll feel them fairly regularly soon. I am a bit worried about my age. I'm a bit not. I like the baby's fine, but I'm a bit worried about labour at, at 41. That's a big thing. But I know a lot of mothers are really just starting in their 40s these days, aren't they? Well, absolutely. I mean, it's not a. It's not at the exclusive abode of um, people in their 20s and 30s anymore at all. Um, plenty of older mothers out there, and, and hospitals are used to. Um, to caring for mothers in their 40s mm. and, and you're not at the end of your 40s you're at the very beginning of your 40s so and, and you and you're healthy 
I've and had all natural births so far, so I do get scared of C-section because mm. after Violet was born, I was like, I did it. I had all my babies and I didn't have a C-section. <laughs> now, now you, you get gotta, worried again. Yeah, it's <laughs> so. like running. It's almost like running the gauntlet every time. Oh, people who have C-sections are amazing to me. It's, yeah. it's crazy. It's I a think, huge thing. Yeah, I mean, if you'd, if you'd had, happened to have had one over the journey, you probably wouldn't be feeling this way. Yeah. But because you haven't experienced that, then, of course, it's natural to feel trepidation yeah. for something it's you haven't experienced. It's the recovery that worries me. We'll definitely be having some, some time off when the baby comes to help one way, whether, whether you have a seizure yeah. or not. Yeah, let's explain our family situation a little bit. Um, we'll touch on it. We've touched on it plenty in the past, but I don't think that content's on the ch channel no, anymore. No, 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 that content's on. So, just for those of you um, who are new players or new, uh, uh, new to the channel, our family situation is this. Rach and I were previously married in our uh, young adulthood, in our 20s. Very um, early you're 20s. In your, you're, you're in your teens, I think. I was a teenager. Um, and we both had children in those relationships. I had four and Rachel had four. So that was before we were together. Um, then when we got together, obviously, um, we became we had eight. eight. <laughs> yeah. And we had custody of all of them. So we all lived together and they all grew up together as siblings. That's right. So we, we had those eight and uh, Rach was like... You knew from day one. Uh, yeah, because you told before me. Before we even got married. You could have said that. Of course, no. <laughs> of course. Of course. No, I'm giving you credit here. I'm not saying you're to blame. I'm giving you the credit. I'm saying Rach wanted to have, for us to have um, some children of our own. And I'm like, yeah, sure thing. Absolutely. And you knew from the start that I said minimum two, but I probably want four more. <laughs> we ended up with the three and we mm. were happy with that. But I would have ideally liked one between Sebi and Violet, but that... It just took so long to have Violet. There's a big four-year age gap between them. Yeah, and that would you could probably account for the pandemic, accounting yeah. for that. What ha all of that would have, there might have been another baby there, but when the pandemic happened, it put everything. Um, there was we didn't plan any more children. We're going to have always going to have at least two, yeah. and you know the third one. Perhaps um, was because we'd had the two boys. We thought we might like like to see if we could have a girl, which we did. So. Then this this last one, boy or girl? Well, it's really going to complete. It's going to be the complete package. So we're going to so have four, 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 and four. four, and four. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So <clears throat> it will uh, most definitely be it. No more. And we can at say all. that without thinking. Oh, but maybe something will no, happen because there's going to no, be there'll be permanent measures. Yeah, there'll be probably you know surgical measures, surgical taken measures. <laughs> to ensure. <laughs> that you know without getting uh, into that but uh so yeah it will be the last one yeah and so uh, that's our family situation that's it yeah. so four four and four together and then another four together we will have 12 in total between the two of us um and we view them ourselves as that size family everyone in the family is um very supportive yeah. kids love the so idea when we told the teenagers like we only told them a couple of weeks ago when i was mm. three months there was a rare moment where Elijah, Caleb, Baden, Jade, Rory, and Ebony were all home at the same time. Mm. That hardly ever happens anymore, so mm. we told them then. And as usual, Baden did his trick of, oh, mom's pregnant. Like, he always says before yeah. we say anything yeah. what it is, yeah. somehow. Yeah. But I'm like... <laughs> and then um, when we did tell them, I think some of them actually thought we were just joking. Like, because mm. they knew we were done as well. Yeah, but, there was definitely some disbelief. Yeah, they thought, but the smiles on their faces, they, was, they were actually quite, after the shock wore off, they yeah. were all chatty and happy and couldn't quite believe it, but... Yeah. And then a few day, within the next few days, they sort of come to us saying, it's actually really exciting. Yeah, so, yeah. that's right. Yeah, several of them, um, of them individually came to me, and I know they came yeah. to you, did the same thing. Just to say that, yeah, this is actually really exciting. Yeah. I'm really excited by this. Because like, I mean, look at Violet, like yeah, how I mean, exciting. <laughs> yeah, Violet's been such a beautiful child, a baby, and now she's you know she's she's uh, into the twos, so she's no longer a baby baby. Um, but we had such a great time with her um, yeah. going through that through the last two years, and I can't see why we can't do that again. When and this the kids baby's see it that born, way too. despite the fact that we didn't see it coming, and we can't still quite imagine it once this baby is born it'll be i know it will be like how did we ever imagine yeah. life without it yeah you just know that's how it's going to be yeah um it's the same you know with the three littlies with um with the, all of them very quickly you know and and i've heard plenty of the uh 
of the teenagers yeah. say the same thing. Like, how did we even? How we don't even remember life remember, before yeah. the little East were yeah. here, and it's they like talk they've about always them. Been here. Yeah. yeah, I mean we've had. Yeah, it seems foreign. Life you can only imagine life if those people you know you aren't part of it. Yeah, on a and daily I know basis. That's exactly how it's going to be with this one. Yeah, yeah, and it, it absolutely will be. So. We're, from that point of view, we're, we're going to really enjoy the, the ride, the process, the, and everything that goes with it. Um, we'll ride the bumps, because there'll be plenty of bumps coming along, yeah. there always is. We're already nearly halfway, kind of. Yeah. So I've had seven, and four of mine have been premies, being born at 36 weeks. So, But they've all been fine and healthy, and yeah. they never needed to go to the NICU or anything like that. I've had four a month early, but I've had three due date and two days over. Yeah. So chances are it'll be early. Somewhere in between it'd be nice. 38 weeks sounds good to me. <laughs> yeah, that would be nice if we just had a, yeah. Yeah, yeah so we're looking at about the end of September. Yeah. Well, I think we'll leave you guys with, we told the boys mm -hmm. and we'll show you their reaction. We told Violet, but of course she has no clue what we're talking about, <laughs> so. But the boys sure do. Yeah, the boys yeah. know. And we'll just show you guys when we told them. Guess what? What? Mum! What? Mum's pregnant! There's a baby in my belly. You're gonna have a brother or sister. Mum is pregnant! Oh, You're gonna have a brother or a sister. <laughs> I feel it. You know. It's not kicking. No, it's still too little to kick. Might be long. You wanted a baby. You wanted a baby, didn't you? Uh, maybe it could be a brown. A... No, but it be the brown lady and Bubba and the boy or girl. What do they have? Another baby! <laughs> He's so excited. Who gets a hug? Who's got a hug? <laughs> Are you happy? No, it has to be like three of it. Yeah. Be it's going to get bigger. It's gonna get bigger. You didn't bigger. even notice that I had a belly. You didn't even notice. <laughs> so we were not even here this whole time. Yeah. Did you feel it? No. <laughs> well, I feel something growing on you. Did you? Wait. Squeeze it, belly. Mom, I think that thing that was growing that was that thing. Should I go outside? I think it was that. that. So it's gonna be about about five or six months, minute. and then there'll be another baby before Christmas. Do you think it'll be a boy or a girl? <laughs> a boy. You've been asking for a baby brother for about a year. Yeah. <laughs> because it's gonna happen. <laughs> Is that so exciting? Yes. Mum is pregnant. I'm gonna be big brother. Big, big, big brother. No, big. Wait a minute. Huge, big. <laughs> Eight by eight, five. No, you won't be eight. You'll still be seven. I'm going to be eight, eight months. You're seven years old. Yes, but the baby's seven. coming in five months. Mm. And now, and now, ow, ow. Mm. I'm going to be so old. I'm going to be so old. That went well. I knew Ellie would be super excited. Wee, 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 wee. Mommy, it's pregnant. <laughs>